Christian, if they if they have a different concept of God, you will be in trouble because you are talking of something different. But if you go, that's a good thing with Company Three. You always go from the start that before anything else, someone existed, and this someone is God, and this God is the one who created everything, the world, the universe. And then chapter two, it it, uh, it this is the same God who created us. You should have the same footing or or basis, because uh, unless you really start from there, then it will be difficult. Like I was saying, the Hindus also, of course, uh, they have three millions of gods, and adding one god is not a problem to them because they're used to that. But adding a god who created everything, oh, oh this is something. In fact, uh, maybe those others will be the addition. This is the main God, the main thing. So again, it, it, would, it would really be very crucial to, to have a starting point. Which God are you talking about? Otherwise, that would really be a problem. So again, uh, when you talk about major religions, uh, the, the bottom line is go back to, to really... To, who God is. That's why Company 3 is working. I mean, not just, I mean, it, it counts in different forms. No? Company 3 or others are a bigger group, but it's basically the same passage. And it's basically the same process. Because you want to change those, those wrong, wrong ideas about God. No? And that's why it's working among Muslims, among Hindus, among Buddhists. Because it's helping them understand that there is a real God. That's why when, when uh, you know, in, in, uh, in areas where, in the Middle East, where miracles are taking place, the Muslims are saying, hey, we prayed in the name of Muhammad, but nothing happened. Why in the name of Jesus, you know, we see miracles taking place. We see healing taking place. So different concepts of God. So again, bottom line is really go back to who the, 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 this creator God that we, we wanted to, to know and, 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 and introduce. Um, I, I, I was in Nigeria once, in Lagos and Ibadan, and we were discussing with our partners there, and they were actually sharing that the North is a difficult area to reach out because it's predominantly Muslim. And uh, so there, it's not the usual thing that you go and then preach the gospel. But it's something you need to look for creative platforms or ways to be able to go there. For example, there are calamities. No? So what can, can be done? You go and provide help. No? If they need food, they need medicines, they need doctors, they need... So these are some ways to be able to, to enter uh, the air. For example, there's that problem in, in Marawi, right? Uh, the Christian organizations came to provide medical help, to provide food, to, uh, you know, uh, whatever aspect, help them in hygiene, sanitation. Now they are providing like uh, education, temporary classroom shelters, things like that. So because of that, they are so welcome. You know, and in fact, uh, many are asking, why are you doing this? And they said, we are Christians and we love Muslims. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was Isa al masih Jesus Christ, who told us to come to help you. And they believe in Jesus as a prophet, right? So they said, oh, if, if prophet Jesus told you to come, then you are very welcome. And then eventually they will, they will, uh, they will really wonder, you know? So some will ask uh, about, you know, what do you really believe as Christians and things like that. You know? And so that's where they began sharing. And we have seen... Uh, a lot, you know. We have we have teams that are there actually doing holistic ministry, but actually uh, those are platforms so that they can share the love of Jesus, and we are seeing many of them coming to Christ as a result. So uh, it's not the usual missionary work that you just go and preach, but uh, there are situations or calamities or uh, situations where we can come in using different platforms. Uh, there are Normally, uh, there, these areas are also poor and depressed. So some platforms, ministry platforms, they go there to do community development. So they, they go there to help develop the community, 
but it's a it's a platform actually to be able to connect with people and then others uh, livelihood livelihood meaning uh, they help them uh, in their skills for example in southern philippines some of the muslim communities are fishermen so teams would go there to reach out to them what they do is they come in and teach modern fishing techniques so they're very welcome and they provide livelihood to the people because those who do not know how then they're able to learn so they're very much welcome no uh, i know of uh, teams that are uh, in in depressed areas because the people do not know how to farm and and, and cultivate so they taught them modern way of doing doing farming and so it's providing uh, them income uh, you know this moringa moringa so there's one community they were taught how to plant uh, this uh, malungay or yeah of course moringa is the, the more popular term but in Philippines we call it malungay so plant many and then uh, this group uh, who actually ministered to them uh, actually co coordinated with the Philippine government so that they were provided a machine to make the moringa capsules so they were taught the technology they were they were helped actually how to produce the and plant and so now they are they have livelihood in their community you know so that's why they are the, the the group that are ministering to them they are so welcome they are so loved by the people because now they have money they they are able to send their children to school but it's a community development platform you know so it, it livelihood platform it, it's it, it depends they, i know there's a muslim community they they don't know how to penetrate but they discovered that they buy bread we call that pandisal the, the filipino bread pandisal from another village they have to walk for uh, quite a distance and so this team they thought oh we can go inside the, this community we make pandisal so they they started a small bakery they just produce hot pandisal so different times of the day they have hot pandisal so the community was very happy you're welcome because we need we don't need to walk far to buy what we need their needs were provided through that business many ways that's they, they call that business as missions using business as a missions platform so many ways actually so i hope this helps no? so we have to pray for open doors opportunities and it's god who is doing that all of these calamities uh, like summer and late which from late here or takloban yeah yeah that that place is one of the most difficult places to reach out in the philippines it's it's actually not muslim but it's catholic diehard catholics but after hayan one of the most devastating typhoon that hit the, the this planet what happened wow so many churches have been planted because many many christian organizations came to to help and so the people were saying hey why are you doing this and so it's because of god's love overflowing in us so we we would love to just help you know? the the we had the opportunity to be part of uh, helping during there was the typhoon that hit actually uh what you know southeast asia thailand banda Aceh. remember that uh no no that's the the big typhoon that hit uh the, the tsunami yeah the, the tsunami that hit myanmar Th thailand and even up to banda Aceh. you know that that part of indonesia and what happened as a result no so we have teams actually i i i spent some time there also in in thailand and i met an indian guy very wealthy guy he owns a uh uh shop no they they make uh, clothes uh, and he was very wealthy but after the tsunami his friends oh, for, forgot him because he, he lost everything no more money even relatives from india he said before they always call and ask for money now they never called <laughs> and so i had a chat with him and i asked him hey how, how come that you you gave your life to jesus he said pastor you know when all of my friends left me it was the christians who came they cleaned my house they provided me food 
they you know provided clothing they helped me begin start my business again and he said i was so touched and uh, i said if this is uh, the religion uh, that, that is doing this this is what i want and if this is the god who says we help we love this is the god that i want and he was crying when he was sharing that with me oh. so a lot of a lot of open doors can happen as a result oh. so sometimes it's god who, who brings calamities so that there will be op you know opportunities for the gospel to be shared oh, there are really a lot of theological issues how do you address that one <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, a lot of theolo theological issues because there are a lot of, you know, uh, yeah. Again, the problem, the very, very problem there is that people are so engrossed with, with knowledge and not application. And the good thing that we really see why, why uh, company tree or disciple making movement is effective is because of the application. It's being applied and lives are transformed. That's why it's so convincing. You know, so... Uh, again, uh, the way to really address that is to go back to, to the scriptures and really and ju <laughs> just uh, allow God to transform us. Uh, because the very, the very uh, reason why uh, there are, you know, uh, teachings like that or divisions is because they want to be the boss, they want to be the leader, they want to be recognized as, you know, but servant leadership Christ model that for us and if we really look at scriptures and we really apply it then as leaders it's it's I uh, know uh, it should be following the example of the Lord Jesus Christ that as leader we should be serving well in in the corporate world in the, the in the world if you're the leader then people should serve you but in 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 Christ model of leadership in servant leadership so if you can address that issue I believe you will be able to prevent uh, these things, and and of course uh, the the issue of giftedness also, giftings, spiritual gifts. So that's that's why that's one of the things that new believers had to be taught, because you will always excel in your areas of giftedness. You know, if you're gifted in doing as a leader, you'll always excel in that. But not all of us are called to be leaders. You know, we 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 have to operate based on God's design. No? So if, if that would also be addressed already in the church, so there is no competition. Yeah. So you will be able to acknowledge everybody if they excel in, their, in, in, what, in other areas. And you will not feel sorry, oh, I, 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 how I wish I can really uh, be a good leader, how, how I wish I can be a good singer. No? So I think that that's a very, the very essence. It's really applying God's truth. You know, uh, and and if you apply God's truth, there will be many problems that can be prevented. Again, the very issue here is because they would rather see themselves known rather than Christ. Uh, remember, in scriptures were reminded uh, uh, that you know Christ should increase, and we keep on decreasing, and Christ should just be seen in in our lives. So. Yeah, it's basically uh, wrong application of truth, no, and and especially the, the the ego that you want to to be to be recognized. Open times that's the the main reason why false teaching comes in. I, I hope that helps. Because really, if if we if everybody will just. You know, after reading the scriptures, what do I ought to do? Wow, we will have a wonderful church. We will have a wonderful world, actually. But the problem is, it's all, all, always here. Just in the mind, we know, we know it, but we don't put it into practice. Like they said, the Philippines is the only Christian nation in the Far East, but the most corrupt. Because many Philippines are saying, I'm a Christian, but they don't really obey the teachings of Christ. I mean, a bold star will say, I'm, I'm a Christian. How can that be? You know? So, not consistent to the teachings of Christ.
Other questions? Yes. Any method that can analyze or even really analyze the the trust believer already, but they just like doing the communication during Sunday worship. Ah, in the church. Uh, you you want to make sure that your members are are sure of going to heaven are are Christians? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, the church member, they just Sunday they come there as obligation, their obligation, mm -hmm. and then that's it. Yes. If they come back to their dinner, so any member to address them and then bring them and advise them that uh, might come. Uh, well. Uh, you know, it, uh, I, I try to study some of the past growing churches. The, the pastor normally will give a message, but always relate the message to salvation. Say, so talk about uh, a husband and wife relationship. No, and then very good. So, Christians, we, everybody is re really very much encouraged. But he will say, well, but the bottom line here is, you know, it's because of Christ. You know, that is the center of the relationship. And so if anybody of you here who have not yet received Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, this may be the good time, you know, a good opportunity for you to say, Lord, I recognize that I have sinned against you. Please forgive me for my sins. I now receive you into my heart, into my life as my personal Savior and Lord. If that is the desire of your heart, then you can say this prayer with me. And then they say the sinner's prayer. So sometimes... Uh, that would be effective. But there are also times that uh, I know of some pastors, I, in fact, I also did that before, uh, we are now preparing our church to reach out. But I mean, how can we tell people we are sure of going to heaven if we are not really sure? Or how can we tell people about the way of salvation and if we don't really, we don't really know the way? So first, uh, let's, uh, so you can briefly just talk about you know the gospel and this is what we would like to to share with others and uh, well it's not religion that saves it's a personal relationship with the Lord not you being a member here doesn't guarantee you'll go to heaven but it's your personal relationship with with the Lord so what do we do it's very simple recognize that we have sinned against God you know acknowledge we cannot save ourselves we and there is the you know Christ's death on the cross to pay for our sins so you can do that and then, if you have not prayed that prayer, you have not done this yet, this may be the best time to do it. And that will prepare you to be witnesses to the lost and dying world. So, I mean, ma many ways can be done. Uh, yeah, or if you're, you're teaching a new tool, uh, evangelism tool, well, uh, you may say you may be attending the church already, but maybe there are some doubts in your heart. Am I really sure that I'm going to be with God in heaven? You know? uh, so as, as you go through this, then try to examine yourself. And if you're not really sure, then it's not, it's not bad. It's not a sin to, to say, God, I recognize only now that I've been attending the church and I have really no personal relationship with you yet. So, and then lead them in the sinner's prayer. So there are various ways. And you can do it without even offending people. Uh, sometimes in, uh, you, when, when you visit people, no, you can also do the same. So before I pray for you or, you know, what, whatever, then you can just you relate, you know, sometimes the gospel. Uh, so the, God will just give you the creativity, the wisdom uh, to, to be able to do that. If that's your desire and that's your prayer. That's why it's very critical uh, every day, God, I'll, I'm starting today, or I'll visit these people, I'll do this. Guide me, help me. You know, help me to bring people one step closer to you. That should be our daily, daily prayer. Lord, whatever, whoever people I'll meet today, help, them, help me to bring them one step closer to you. One step closer to you. One step closer to you. Okay? 